Christians. Na kutenda mambo makubwa kwa ajili ya Wakristo. First, because then we can reach out to people easier. Kwanza kwa sababu hivyo tunaweza pikia watu kwa uraisi. I'm sure there are a lot of poor people around your church. Naamini kuna watu walio maskini sana karibu na kanisa lenu. And your church members will know a lot of poor people. Na kani wa shirika wa kanisa watajua watu wengi maskini. And many of them are unhappy. Na wengi wao hawana furaha. Are sick. Ama ni wagonjwa. And have different problems. Wako na shida mbalimbali. And then you can train people to pray for other people. Na unaweza funza ama kwa kufunza watu ili kuambia watu wengine. And visit them and listen to them. Na kuwatembelea na kuwasikiza. The first thing is not to pray for for them. Kitu ya kwanza si kuwaombea tu. The first thing is to listen to them. Kitu ya kwanza ni kuwasikiliza. Respond to their feelings. Wewe awajibikia hisia zao. And say I know that you have Burdens, you are not happy. Mwambie ni najua kwa na mizigo, au na furaha. I know it's not easy for you. Najua si arabu bizuri kwa ako. So listen to them. Lido asikize. Empathize with them. Wewe kuwa na isi ya kwa jili yao. And then we can share our similar problems that God has helped. Na unaweza shiriki nao shida zenye mungu ameweza saidia. Or we are praying for people and they have been helped. Ya kwamba tumeombea watu na mewama saidika. And then ask them, do you like me to pray for you? Na waulizie, unataka ni kuombe. Now when I pray for people, ni napoombea watu. I have learned how to have my spirit ascend to God. Nimejifunza rao wangu kumwelekeza Mungu. When I pray for people it's not just with words. Nikiombea watu siwaombei tu kwa maneno. It's like my whole spirit ascend to God. Ni kama roho wangu wote amemwelekea Mungu. And then I can see people start to sway. Naweza kuona watu wakianza kuyumba yumba. And then after you know in the process of reaching my heart to God na katika hiyo hali mwe wangu kamilifu na mpikia mungu and after a prayer I asked them na baada ya kwa mbea na uwezi I said to them please close keep your eyes closed na wambia funikeni macho enu have you experienced anything during the prayer umeisi kitu katika hali ya maombi and if they say yes kwa kisema ndiyo then I tell them these Bible verses I told you. Naweza wambia hizi mistari ambazo nime wambia. God has blessed you. Mungu wa mekubariki. Do you like God to continue to bless you? Unataka mungu wa indedea kukubariki. If he says yes. Akisema ndiyo. Then I will explain the gospel that Jesus has died on the cross for our sins. Nita fanua biblia kwa mba yesu kista likufa msalabani kwa jiri yetu. And I lead him to to repent and trust in Jesus as the Savior. Na ni tamuongoza katika toba na kumtumainia wana kama mokozi wake. And then I will ask them to you how they experience when they, when we pray for them. Na ni tawauliza tena, mulisi vipi nilipo waombea. They might say peaceful and burdens go away. Watasema amani na mizigo kuondolewa. And I will say this is God working your life. Tawambia uyu ni mungu anatenda kazi ndadienu. And this way I brought many people to Christ. Na hili njia na aleta watu wengi kwa Christo. Okay, I'd like to ask this lady in the back. Nataka ni ulize maru. It's okay, you come up. Iko saa, ukaweze kuja up ame. Oh, Alleluia, Alleluia. I saw that she was very open to the Lord. Niliona ulikuwa wazi sana kwa Mungu. Ronga mbele. Okay, I'm just demonstrating. Mimi naonyesha tu. So if we talk with her, nikiongea naye, and no says she has some, you know, problems. Na anijua kwamba ako na shida fulani. I would say yes. Yes, I know that, you know, it's not easy for you. Nitasema ndio naona si rahisi kwako. You might be unhappy. Unaweza kuwa una furaha. And I had similar experiences, or someone else has similar experiences. Na kuna mtu mwenye alikuwa na hali kama hii, hata nini ilikuwa na hali kama hiyo. And I've experienced the Holy Spirit come to bless me. Na nimea hizi roo mtakatifa kikuja kuniponya. And then, would you like me to pray for you? Utataka ni kuombe. And if he says yes. Hakisema ndiyo. Then I'll say, please, close your eyes. Mtamuambia funga macho yako. Try to love God, like God from your heart. Enda kumpenda mungu kutoka ndani ya mwe wako. And I'll do the same. Nafanya ibo ten. 
and I would like God. Napenda Mungu. And then I'll tell her, is it okay to lay my hand on you? Nikamuuliza ni salama nikikuwekea mikono zangu. And then is it okay? Then Okay, and then, and then I just, I won't put pressure on her, I just touch. Oh, and I was very simple prayers. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God is so good. God is Mungu. Now you can all stand up too. You can all stand up and reach our heart to God together. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Asante Jesus. You're so wonderful. Come and bless us, Lord. We need you, Jesus. We welcome you, Jesus. Jesus. We like you, Lord Jesus. We welcome you. Oh, come, Lord Jesus. We need you. Oh, yes, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. Oh, yes, Comfort her heart. Comfort her heart. Set her free. Let experience your love. And your peace. And your power. Comfort her heart. Be with her. Thank you, Jesus. Asante Yesu. Jesus loves me, yes I know, for the Bible tells me so, <laughs> let your words to him be long, I am Jesus loves me, oh Jesus loves us. Yes, Jesus loves me, oh Jesus. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Yes. Pictures of the people toward me, too. Yes, Jesus. In the back, in the back. You can show me. You can take the pictures of people and me. Yes, Jesus. Love me. Love me. God, you're so good. God is so good. God is so good. God is so good. He's so good to me. Oh, Jesus, Lord. God is so good. God is so good, God is so good, He's so good to me. Thank you, Jesus. Asante Yesu. Thank you, Jesus. Asante Yesu. We love you, Jesus. Tunakupenda Yesu. Please forgive our sins. And wash us clean with the blood of Jesus. Bless our whole life. I need to Jesus. Welcome Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Now, please stand.
please keep your eyes closed. Kama machi yako yamefunga. I like to ask you. Nataka nikuulizie. Have you experienced something in your prayer? Umeisi kitu chote katika maombi yako. God is good to you. Can you describe what you experienced? Oh. When you began. Uh, wakati mwingine ninapoanza kufundisha kanisani ama kuongoza huwa ninasikia ninaelekezwa niseme kitu fulani lakini wakati mwingine ninaona kama watu wenye wako karibu ni kama hawataelewa ninawaambia nini so ninaikuusa tu ninanyamasia so nimesikia tu nikikumbushwa nikikumbushwa sana sana kuhusu hayo mambo when you began teaching this word when you began teaching the, this was, she has been reminded there is some things that for you. There is some things that God has been reminding her that she she want to teach the church, but she thinks that when she taught the church, they will not understand what is the sin. Okay. So in the prayer, what did she experience? So she's saying that she was being reminded of those things. Okay. Okay. Now in the prayer, can you describe to you what Kati, experience what you experienced during the Kati prayer? Kati maombi, did you, did you experience something? Did, 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 you something did, did you experience something in your heart and over your body? Kamu le sikia koki tu kiki tende ka katika mwili nwa. Ah, ni meisi kama kuna usito kwa dani mwa kula kini ni kama kuamba ni kwa ina ondolewa ni kuna musibu ni ondolewa ni kasiya kupu musishi. She feels that there was a burden on her, but that burden has been removed, and she feels that she's rested. Yeah. So this is what Jesus said. All you who are weary and burdened, come to me, and I'll give you rest. So God has taken away your burdens. You see how real God is? Do you like God to bless your whole life? Yes, wonderful. Now, you know, Jesus is... Son of God who came to the world to die for us. Yes, And he died for our sins on the cross. And then when we trust in Jesus as our Savior, He'll give us eternal life. And then He'll bless your whole life. Do you like Him to bless you? Okay, good. Now, so could you all say, pray with me as I say this prayer, and then all say it together, okay? Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you during the prayer we have experienced your work. You take away our burdens and give us peace. Thank you for your love. Asante kwa upendo wako. God loves me. Mungu ananipenda. God cares about me. Mungu ananijali. I'm a sinner. Mimi ni mwenye dhambi. I've sinned against people. Nimetenda dhambi za watu. I've sinned against God. Nimetenda mbele za Mungu. I've hurt people's feelings. Mimi nime watu wa watu. Please forgive my sins. Tafadhali samee dhambi zangu. And wash me clean with the blood of Jesus. Welcome Jesus. Karibu Yesu. To be my savior. Thank you Lord Jesus. Asante Bwana Yesu. In Jesus name we pray. Katika jina la Yesu tumeomba. Amen. Amen. Now have you sincerely confessed your sin and asked God to forgive you? Umekili dhambi zako na ukamwambia kusamehe. Now when you have done that Jesus has entered your life and is now your savior and you are a child of God. Congratulations. Amen. 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 Amen.
Hallelujah. And I want to teach you a simple prayer. So when you go home, you can pray this simple prayer. Okay, now you can all say it with me. Dear Lord Jesus, please forgive my sins and give me eternal life. And give me eternal life and bless my life. And bless my life. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I worship you, Father. I worship you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So this is a simple prayer. Ask Jesus to forgive us. And give us eternal life. And then we thank God. It's a simple prayer everyone can pray. So you can start to pray like that. And God will bless you. And you can come back to church too. And know more about Jesus. So I'm demonstrating how to help. Now I see that she really is open to the Holy Spirit. Do you like to experience the Holy Spirit more? Do you like to experience the Holy Spirit more? Have you experienced the joy of the Lord before? Would a lady come out and hold her back? It's cry out from your heart to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh Lord Jesus. I worship you. Hallelujah. 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 Set her free totally. Set her free totally. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Lord, I love you. I love you. I can sing all the love. When your heart is open, relax to Leah and help her stand up. She can experience more. It's all that we believe in Jesus. Relax to Leah to Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. With your freedoms. Oh, Jesus, that she can freely fly to God. Think of your spirit flying to God. Now, crying to God. Oh, now cry like this. Oh, I fly to God. I fly to God. I fly to God. I fly to God. Think of yourself flying up to God. Hallelujah, oh, 
I would like you all to pair up in twos. You pray for someone. Reach out your spirit to God. And you don't have to say many things. Say simple things. Like God is loving us. And it's most important to say your spirit ascend to God. I love you, Jesus. I need you, Jesus. I want you, Jesus. Oh. <laughs> so find someone and lay your hand lightly. And after you finish, and ask what the person has experienced. Okay, now we have gone over time, so we'll, uh, you know, we have shorter time next sessions. We'll, you still have your break time. So now try to do it. One person pray for the other one and lay hand on the shoulder. It's important to reach out our spirit to God. Now it's better to face each other. Face each other. Wangalia mwingi. Ka kama kwa ngalia. Have you experienced anything during the prayer? Ask the person now. 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 Please pray for you. If your person pray for you, you experience something. Okay. Now turn around. The one who received prayer will pray for the other one. Mwenye alipokea maombi nataka sasa huyo mwenye alikuwa kiombewa kiombewa aombe huyo sasa. And then for anyone who find it hard to experience Holy Spirit, you can come out and pray for you. Na mwenye naisi ubumo moyo na zakuja kwamba ni kapombe rom taka tepa kusali. Now try to pray from the heart. Ah, Think for the two times. Please raise your hand. Now try to pray from the heart. 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 Now try
Now, so you see that, you know, you can bring, help people to experience the Holy Spirit. And what you can do is, first practice praying with Christians. You practice so many times. And then you can go out and try to pray for newcomers. Newcomers to the church. And it's very important that we learn to really have our spirit ascend to God. It's not what we say, it's our heart. So it's something for you to practice every day that you are really loving God. Now, does anyone want to come out? I, I'll demonstrate praying for one person. I demonstrate that. Anyone? Anyone want to come out? I demonstrate how to open up the heart more. Okay, so I hope to, you keep doing that and then we'll come back in 15 minutes, okay? 15. And I pray that you overcome that shyness. I always thought Africans danced in the free. <laughs> but I found that they, they're very free with dancing. <laughs> but as far as you know, being willing to do something. Many are quite shy. So I hope you overcome that shyness when you offer to pray for someone.